Join me today for a 10 minute bust lifting workout. Hi, I'm Shelley and welcome to Fabulous 50s. You are going to love this workout. We're working on the muscles in and underneath and around the bust with the goal of lifting. So we're not going to change the size of the bust or make them smaller or bigger, but we're going to work on firming them. So these exercises are amazing. They really work. And by the end of this, you're going to feel it, I promise you. To up the intensity of this workout, I'm using one kilo dumbbell weights for the last three exercises. You don't have to, it's a challenge, but if you can, if you've got something or bottles of water or anything at all with a bit of weight to it, just try adding it to the last three exercises and see how you go. It burns, you can feel it, I can feel it now. And this 10 minute workout is part of the Fabulous 50s 14 day summer body challenge. If you'd like to know more details about that, I'll leave the link in the description below. It's 14 days of exercise every day, 35 to 45 minutes. You're going to love it, you don't have to think. Everything's done for you, all you need to do is show up and put in some effort and have a good attitude and you're going to feel amazing. If you're new to Fabulous 50s, you're very welcome here. Click subscribe and ring that bell for more videos created just for you. I'm so excited. Let's get started. Here is a diagram of all of the muscles that support the breast tissue. We've got a front, back and side angle. And we're going to use this diagram throughout the workout just to give you reference to the muscles that you're working. And what you'll notice is that you're going to feel it also in your shoulders, your back and your side back. And as you can see, it's all connected. And this diagram is also a really great reminder to know that we have all all of these muscles inside of our body and whether we've got fat covering our body or not building and strengthening and taking care of all of these muscles in our body can only bring positive results first up bring your palms together elbows out and squeeze two three four and hold two three four squeeze two three four and hold two three four we're putting all of our pressure into our palms and we're activating that chest muscle and the fun thing about this exercise it takes me back to when i was about 14 years old we used to say i must i must increase my bust as we pressed our hands together did you do that too Great job, take a rest. Next up, we're going to join our hands in prayer position. Take them up high, join our elbows and start pulsing. Apply pressure to your elbows and your palms as you push up and remember to use the diagram attached to visualize those muscles that you're working right now. Shake your arms out, you're going to need it. Next up, we're going to bring our elbows together, interlock our hands and spread our wings. Bring them out and in. Squeeze those chest muscles, activate your arms so they're very strong and keep your arms high. You can feel that, you can feel that the lift is happening.
take a short rest and next up we're going to bring our elbows together parallel to the floor and then we're going to bring our right elbow above the left and then our left elbow above the right. This is way more challenging than it looks and to keep it up for the entire time but do the best you can and this is also a great one for our mind because we really have to think about what we're doing. Well done, that took a lot of effort. Okay, have a rest. Next up, we're going to take our hands in prayer position above our head, and then we're going to take our elbows out wide and back in again. Take them wide and back in again. And have a look at the diagram, and you'll see the muscles that you're working on this. Feel what it feels like inside your body as you do it, and then cross-reference that feeling to what you see in the diagram. Great job, shake it out, have a rest. Next up, we're going to bring our fingers behind our ears, elbows out very wide, and then we're going to slowly bring them in to touch elbows and back out again. Squeeze those muscles as you bring your arms in, and then relax as you bring them out. Squeeze in and out. Do the very best you can to keep your arms up high, but if you need to drop them, do that, and then come back to it when you're ready. Take a rest, shake it out, and next up we're going to do a very similar move, keeping our arms high with our elbows high. We're going to bring our arms out and in, and this is to challenge our resistance. You'll notice that the repetition is causing fatigue, and that's the goal. We've got to fatigue our muscles so they wake up and start working for us. So do the very best you can and keep your arms up high. For the next three exercises, we're going to use very light dumbbell weights. If you don't have dumbbell weights, pick up something that's got a little bit of weight to it, like a tin of food or a bottle of water. Just something to give a tiny bit of resistance. Squeeze the dumbbells between your palms, exhale as you extend your elbows and push in front of you, and then hold, and then bring it back again. This is a really great exercise for engaging and toning our chest muscles. Again, look at the diagram, feel what it feels like in your body, and cross-reference the muscle that you're using.
Next up, take your dumbbells and bring your arms out straight to shoulder height and start doing very small circles going inwards. Just keep them small and contract the muscles in your chest. Feel that squeeze, activate your arms. You can also feel it in your shoulders and do the best you can. Keep your core held in very tight too. Take a quick rest and now we're up to our very last exercise. We're going to use the same move but circle in the opposite direction. And the slight variation in move is just going to tweak our muscles a little bit. And as you can see, all those muscles in that diagram need love and attention. And that's what you're doing right now. You're putting in the effort, you're putting in the work and you will get results. Keep going, you're doing an amazing job. are amazing let me know in the comments below if you can feel that in your chest and let me know if you did the bit at the end with the weights and if it was challenging for you please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe and if you've got some more energy which I know that you do choose this workout next and if you've finished always remember to cool down with a beautiful stretch from this playlist thank you so much for being here with me today and I'll see you tomorrow